While Miami won their first meeting back in 2020, Herbert has shown more of the physical traits and tools needed to become a franchise quarterback in this league. Many will remind you that victories aren't a quarterback statistic, but they do have the biggest effect on the outcome of a contest. It's undeniable that the former Crimson Tide quarterback has taken a step forward this year with Mike McDaniel and Tyreek Hill entering the fray in South Florida. He's already set career marks in yards too. 859 and touchdowns 21 in just 10 games while leading the NFL in passer rating 112. However, Herbert's numbers are also strong, throwing for 3,339 yards and 20 touchdowns with a 92.3 passer rating. Coming off of Tagovailoa's worst performance of the year, one that was full of inaccurate passes that weren't a result of pressure, the critics that sat back silently while the quarterback put himself in the MVP conversation through the first 12 weeks of the season came to the forefront on social media, podcasts and talk shows again. A Sunday night matchup at SoFi Stadium with a Chargers team that's on the edge of playoff contention could be exactly what Tagovailoa needs to lull those doubters back to sleep. If he can lead his team to a road victory against a potential contender, one quarterback by the guy that most of them believe Miami should have drafted instead of him, not only will detractors once again have nothing to say with any credence, but he'll also be proving it to his teammates, coaches, Dolphins decision makers and fan base. While Miami technically has time to make a decision about their future at quarterback, this offseason really is the best moment to either commit or look elsewhere. A game like this won't tell the team everything they need to know about their captain but they could certainly get some answers that may make that resolution easier to come to. In the Dolphins' 33-17 road loss to San Francisco, Tagvaloa passed for 295 yards and two touchdowns but was just 18 of 33 and was also got picked off twice. Even after such a performance from the quarterback, Miami wide receiver Tyreek Hill still believes 100% that Tagovailoa is going to be just fine. Can't say too much man, but I've been fortunate enough to be able to play with one of the best quarterbacks in the league. You know, we all have bad games. We all are human, and you know. We all go through some stuff, man. My message to him is just to come out refocused. A lot of people forget about what you did in the last game and you go ahead and throw for six touchdowns. It will all be forgotten, it could have been worse for Tagovailoa but fortunately his connection with Hill remained strong in that game. Hill finished with 146 receiving yards and a touchdown on 9 receptions and 14 targets, the Dolphins' offense was not operating in its optimal form in that game. As well, with Jalen Waddle temporarily leaving the game against the Niners with a leg issue. Moreover, star left tackle Taron Armstead was not able to give it a go in Week 13. There is a chance, though, that both Waddle and Armstead will play in Week 14 against the Los Angeles Chargers, so on top of Hill's confidence in Tagovailoa, that should further hype up Dolphins fans for this upcoming contest.